Hello guys, I am RR Kavinesh and I am now the first semester MBBS student at AIMS New Delhi. So my career of MBBS career started the year 2021 and I have written NEET 2021 where I scored All India Rank 31 and I was able to enter AIMS New Delhi. Basically I was a South, in a South Indian like I was from Tamil Nadu and what was in the mindset of like I would be like excluded or like in North India would be difficult but the things are so different. AIMS New Delhi like everyone knows it's the topmost and it stands out outstandingly. The things in AIMS are like bit different like you have equal research options as well as studies option and I felt it very good. Uh, so in my I have now my fourth semester and in my first prof I was second in overall first professional examination and I'm just want to share how you have to adapt once you enter any college. So first of all, I will congratulate all those who have qualified NEET and have got into a medical college. So first part of the first phase of your life is done. Now we are into the second phase. This is the most crucial point that I would tell. Reason is because in 12th grade, you might think that that's the most difficult part. But once you enter the MBBS into the any college, the things are a bit different. Till 12th, they might have taught you everything in detail, every step. Like they would help you to even realize everything they would be taught. But it's not the case in colleges. Like lectures are of one hour time and the topics that are covered might be covered in 12th standard like for five hours. Here it would be covered in just one hour. So it's your capability to like acclimatize to that thing. Basically speaking in the first year you will be having three subjects biochemistry, anatomy and physiology. Different people's different subjects are uh, difficult like I will be giving an overall view like how to start with MBBS. So first thing I have told like it's so bulk the topic covered is so bulk and what I did is like I entered like the college and first day was felt like I felt so hectic like it was if you are entering MBBS you have to change the mindset that you have achieved everything. This is the start of your life, okay. So change the mindset, become normal, you are gonna start your life and once you enter the class, keeps your ears open. Like listen to everything, what their professors are trying to convey to you. You don't need to by heart everything, understand, like learn everything they teach, but just get the basic concept which they are trying to indulge on you. Like every chapter, every lecture they are taking, you cannot learn it 100%. So what you have to do is the basic concept which they want you to know, just know that and just come, just, just if you are going to hostel or at home, go to your home and learn it using some books. Like I will tell, like anatomy, it would be mostly for most colleges, they would be starting with upper limb. So in that case, during teaching time, you have to use different books and for exams, you have to use different set of books. So while they are teaching, your main aim is to understand the things so that you could use it in the future and for exams your main aim should be to learn for exams so while they are teaching for example today they are taking the first lecture in upper limb so that day you go uh, my suggestion would be to have grace anatomy there is a south, uh, like south asian edition like not the mother grace there is something south asian edition so take the grace try to read through it the amount of knowledge that the grace would the south asian edition is giving is small but they have so much pictorial representation and you would start understanding it. So now many people would like start reading BDC otherwise you would not score in exam. That's not your primary aim. Like your primary aim is to become a doctor. So first you have to understand the concepts and then transfer it into the exams. So initially you will be doing Grace Anatomy. My suggestion would be to do Grace Anatomy while they are teaching in the college and during exam like one week or two weeks then you will shift to BDC and learn some important facts that were asked in your college exam previously. Mostly that would repeat. So that you have to select and you have to specifically study just to pass this exam. But our main aim during the teaching should be to learn the book where you get major and basic concepts. Like for anatomy, I will tell BTC would be fine for exam or Vishram Singh, that's also a new book that's coming up and Grace Anatomy while you're learning. Next, if we talk about biochemistry, it's a bit difficult, like initially might be easy, but the major like metabolism, there are so many cycles you have to remember that becomes so difficult. My thing is like they would be teaching one, maximum two cycle or three cycle a day if they are teaching. So what you have to do like come back my suggestion like in aims still there are people are following harper harper is one of the like gold standard books considered in other colleges where they don't read but my suggestion is read harper like for metabolism and all cycles harper is the best they have written it in a so well manner so very good manner you will understand each things 
so while they are teaching i would suggest harper then during exam like what you follow in your college that would be better but for understanding concept i preferred harper but reading harper for all topics is not possible at all like some topics it goes so deep so i preferred one more book it was actually sr at aims it's written by like kartik and petu sami you could get the book in the libgen or you could buy the book the book was like it's what you need and link the concepts what you need for the clinics what's the application of this for the clinics it's actually so good book so i would prefer you to read that harper don't forget harper for metabolism every cycle is given in a very good way so once you read the cycle that day leave it just read the cycle understand it get it into the brain the weekend just try to draw yourself in a notebook draw the cycle by yourself you may not get 100% maximum you will get is 50% of that cycle that's more than enough then you again go into the book read through that book where you missed it and why you missed it you have understand the concept but you cannot write it onto the paper means you have left some concept so go and read to the theory part that would help you to finalize the entire cycle in your paper just learning cycle would not be enough for clinics because you have to apply it to the clinical aspect what might be the reason for this disease to present like this so these cycles are interrelated then i would like for analyzing this for example you may not be reading it i am telling like there is something called urea cycle it's linked to various other cycles so take one of the case like one of the diseases case and then compare why there is hyperammonemia why there is uricemia why there is aortic aciduria so just compare it why any clinical case you take ask why that would help you to make the cycle theory in your mind so strong so biochemistry that's why many people think it difficult you have to think like you have to analyze each everything and biochemistry if you are strong in many of the clinical questions you could do it so well then comes physiology equally important is physiology like biochemistry anatomy i would tell like it's so bit theoretical might be difficult for people who think they can't like learn learning theory is difficult but i would tell like going to dh and seeing the structure and that day coming and reading the grace anatomy would make your anatomy so strong and read the clinical things related to the things you see for example carpal tunnel syndrome you could learn there is a tunnel and there is so many things going so just imagine it and what problem could arise in some other disorders that would be like if you learn it with any clinical cases you would remember it throughout your life then come to physiology so physiology there are mostly i think most colleges follow guyton and ganon guyton is like a story book if you start reading it's a very book book but you will understand everything but ganon is like crisp like it's like a review of physiology so what i i would suggest is like what your professors teach try to see it through the guyton uh, but i would recommend like if you are free like after you have completed like if they have completed the respiratory system and you have read through the guyton then best thing is to go through the ganon's boxes there are some clinical witness boxes like they are so good uh, how they like how they interpret each cases through physiology it's like it's combining physiology with medicine so that was so good so ganon is a must read book but not in the initial phases in the final phases but in initial phases i would suggest guyton for all so these are the things you have to take care and the main disadvantage for most people is that if they enter the medical college they are done with their life it's easy to go but it's the first step you are still have a lot of steps to go it becomes tougher and tougher each time so this is one of the biggest step you are going to get like for your first exam many colleges might have in every month and but for aims it's like same wise so we have a mid sem and sem then again a mid sem and end sem so like that so if like uh, what i would tell is like if initially you are entering into a college don't target for exam first one month try to understand what's going to happen what's the pace of the mbbs it's bit fast try to get into the pace read the books uh, understand the concepts like in one month if you are into the pace and you are able to read about 50 60 percentage of what they have taught you are on the right pace after like the sec- if you are having monthly exams then just before the exam just go through the bdc or the other books which you are referring that would be like once you cross one of the exam then you are on to the pace so then you are fine so second year there would be like clinical postings that is of a different case uh, but initially this is one of the most important if you cannot get acclimatized uh, many people try to drop out 
if you cannot get into that step you have to come down so that's the case so don't be over confident in this phase that's the most important thing so try hard if you have qualified neat you could do anything so just don't be like so over confident try to learn everything try to understand everything that would be better so all the best